Hello and welcome back future scientists. Thank you so much for making it here today. We're going to continue our lesson on interphase today. Okay, so what is interphase? Well, y'all might remember from last time I saw y'all interphase is part of something known as the cell cycle. Okay, the cell cycle is how cells live their life, how they divide and how we make sure your body has enough resources to grow and repair itself. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk about interphase in a little bit more detail and talk about what the cells doing in all these different steps. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Well, just as a quick reminder, what is the cell cycle? I kind of mentioned it just a second ago. The cell cycle is a series of events that take place from one cell division to the next. And let's remember that it's constantly repeated. Just because you go all the way through the cell cycle doesn't mean that you're done. As soon as you're done with one part of the cell cycle, the next part just starts all over again. So when I'm talking about the starting and the stopping points, know that because it's a cycle, you can really stop and start anywhere you want to, but usually we just talk about it in a certain way to make it easier to learn. Okay? So the cell cycle is how the, the cells divide and how it lives its life, okay? So the cell cycle has three parts, okay? The three parts of the cell cycle are interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Today we're mostly going to be talking about interphase, which is what the cell is doing in between dividing, okay? Mitosis is the division of the nucleus, and then cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm. In interphase, the cell is really just doing its daily functions, okay? So interphase, it is the longest phase of the cell cycle and it is subdivided into three smaller parts. Okay, so these are the three parts in order. The first part of interphase is known as G1 and that G stands for growth. This is immediately after the cells have divided, so their main job here is just to get a little bit larger. Okay, they're going to grow in size a little bit here. Then the longest part of interphase is known as the S phase. S stands for synthesis, and specifically we're making DNA. What we want to do at the end of the cell cycle is divide a cell into two perfectly identical cells. And what's really important is that each cell has an exact copy of its DNA. So you have to replicate it, you have to make an, an extra set of it to make sure that each cell is going to have a copy. Okay, And then the last part of interphase is called G2. That's the second growth phase. And unlike the first growth phase, the cell isn't really getting larger here. What it's really doing is preparing for mitosis. So we're going to make extra organelles. We're going to make extra structures that we need to divide. And then that'll end interphase as we start to divide the cell. Okay, so let's take a closer look at what's going on in these different parts of interphase. Okay, so the first part of interphase, like I said, is known as the first growth phase, G1. Here's what's happening dur during this part of interphase. During G1, the cell undergoes rapid growth and it performs its usual functions. Okay, your cells have a lot of jobs to do, especially depending on what type of cell it is. Your muscle cells are constantly contracting and relaxing to move your body around. So really, at this point, it's mostly just performing its everyday functions. Okay, as well as getting a little bit larger. Some cells actually do not divide. So skeletal muscle cells and nerve cells do not divide. And so they'll just stay in this G1 phase permanently. They won't really continue throughout the full cell cycle. Okay, so once the cells reached a certain point, once it's gotten large enough, It'll enter into the next part of interphase, which is known as the S phase. Here's what's happening in the S phase. The cell is going to duplicate its DNA. Again, this is really important because we want both of the new cells that we're making to have an exact copy of DNA. So during this is the longest part of interphase. It takes so long because you have billions of nucleotides in your DNA and your cells have to copy each one of those nucleotides, put them in the correct order, and then do some proofreading to make sure that the, the DNA is correct. So this part is very long. This is a very lengthy process, okay? By the end of this phase, each chromosome is composed of two chromatids connected 
at the centromere. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of those words in a later lesson. Okay? And like I said earlier, this is the longest part of the cell cycle, of the cell's life cycle, because it's very intricate to make sure the DNA is perfect. Okay? But once we've made that copy of DNA, we'll move into the last part of interphase. This is called G2. What's happening here is the cell is preparing to divide. It's going to assemble some structures we need to divide, such as these hollow microtubules. And then lastly, these microtubules are utilized to move chromosomes during mitosis. Some other things that are happening here is we're making extra organelles because each of the new cells are going to need those organelles, so we're kind of doubling up on the organelles that are in the cell so that when we divide, the cells are ready to go and do what they need to to function properly. Okay? So, great work. Uh, I have some review questions to go along with this. So, if y'all could, teacher, why don't you go ahead and pass those out? I think for this, y'all go ahead and take five or ten minutes, see what y'all can kind of figure out on your own. And then when y'all are ready and you want me to review it with you, come back, unpause the video, and I'll kind of review it with everybody, okay? So, go ahead, pass those out, take a couple minutes, and then when y'all are ready, come back to me and we'll review it together. All right, great. I know y'all were probably able to answer a lot of those, but just in case anyone's a little bit confused, I wanted to go ahead and review it with y'all, and then that way y'all can add or change anything you need to, and you can take this sheet home and just review it on your own time if you need a little bit more help. So let's see what y'all came up with for these, and I know y'all did a great job. Here's the first question. What is a series of events that cells go through as they grow and divide? So what's kind of the overall name of this unit? What have we been talking about? Well, this is known as the cell cycle, okay? Cell cycle is how a cell lives its life and what it's doing in order to provide, uh, divide correctly, okay? So number two, what is the longest stage of the cell cycle called? I'll give you a hint. It's what we were talking about today. What phase, what stage of the cell cycle were we discussing today? That's known as interphase, interphase. A cell spends the majority of its life in this phase called interphase. All right, here's the next one, number three. During what stage does the G1, S, and G2 phases happen? Well, this is interphase again. Let's go ahead and put interphase for this one. Great. All right, let's keep it going. Four, during what phase of the cell cycle does mitosis and cytokinesis occur? Okay, so sometimes this is referred to as the M phase. Okay, this is when the cell is dividing. So let's go with M phase for that one. Great job. All right, five. During what phase of the cell cycle does cell division occur? Okay, well, this is going to be the M phase again. Okay, Cytokinesis and mitosis make up the M phase. What's happening in those two parts of the cell cycle is the nucleus divides and then the cytoplasm divides. So M phase is perfect for number five. Let's go to the next one, number six. During what phase of the cell's cycle is DNA replicated? Does anyone remember when we're synthesizing DNA? That's right, when I said synthesize, that might make it a little bit easier to remember that this is the S phase. Okay, S phase. Great job. All right, seven. During what phase of the cell cycle does the cell grow? Well, you might remember that G in G1 stands for growth. So G1 is when the cell is growing. Okay, eight. During what phase of the cell cycle does the cell prepare for mitosis? Well, this is the other growth phase. This is G2. This happens directly before mitosis. And so to me, that's the best way to remember that G2, we're mostly getting ready to divide. We're getting ready for mitosis. It's the phase that happens directly before mitosis. All right, here's the next one, number nine. How many stages are there in mitosis? So you might want to think back to that coloring sheet we did last time. Mitosis is when the nucleus is dividing. It's broken up into a couple of different steps. Does anyone remember how many there are? There are four stages to mitosis. And even if you couldn't remember that one, I bet this next question was kind of helpful. This says, put the following stages of mitosis in order. 
and then it gives us the four different uh, stages. So for this, there's a really helpful acronym to remember. Does anyone remember what that acronym is? The acronym is PMAT. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that first, PMAT. Why is this helpful to remembering the stages of mitosis? Well, it gives us the proper order of them. So mitosis, the four different phases are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So if you can just remember PMAT, that'll help you remember those four in the correct order. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Number 11, put the following stages of the cell cycle in the correct order. Okay, so again, let's think back to that coloring sheet that we did. The four stages of the cell cycle, it goes G1, S, G2, and then the M phase is for mitosis and the cytokinesis. Great job, all right, so then put the following in order. Uh, and we have some similar terms here and some different ones, but the first three are gonna be the same. It goes G1, S, G2, and then mitosis happens next. And then the last part is cytokinesis. Great job, all right. 13, this says put the following actions in order, and then it gives us a couple different things that happens in the cell cycle. It says DNA replication, cell grows, cell division, and then cell prepares for mitosis. Well, let's just think back, if you can kind of think about number 11, it's giving us a lot of the answers there. So the first thing that happens is the cell grows. So that should be the first step. The cell grows, okay? After the cell, grows a little bit, the next thing that happens is gonna be the DNA replicates. Here it says DNA replication. Great. All right, what happens after that? Well, we're going to prepare to divide. So the cell pre prepares for mitosis. And then the last one here is cell division. Okay, great job. So here's the last one. 14 is asking, explain why cells don't just continue to grow larger as organisms grow larger. Why do cells divide? So for this, you're actually gonna have to think back to something we talked about last time. I kinda told y'all that cells after a certain size, they just don't work the way that they're supposed to. Basically the area of the cell grows a lot faster than the perimeter does, so it can't control what's coming in and out of it quite as well. So anything like that's going to work. Why, why do cells divide? We can put something like they cannot maintain homeostasis if they get large. So something like that is going to be perfect. So cells cannot keep homeostasis. Again, they just get too large. They can't control what's coming in and out of them very effectively, and that's going to make them not work the way they're supposed to. Okay, y'all, thank y'all so much for following along with me today. I know this stuff is kind of tricky. Your teacher has some other assignments for you to practice on, so make sure to give that your best effort, and I hope everybody has a great day.